Hi everyone, this is Millie, nurse educator at Brooks Community Health Center. Today we're going to talk about the flu. And the flu is a potentially serious disease that can lead to hospitalization and sometimes even death. Uh, signs and symptoms of the flu include fever, but not always, uh, cough, sore throat, runny nose, uh, muscle or body aches, headaches, fatigue, and in, especially in children, it can cause nausea and vomiting. Uh, you should get a flu shot by October usually uh, before flu viruses begin to spread in your community since it takes about two weeks for the body to generate antibiotic, any antibodies and protection from the time that you get the flu vaccination. Vaccines should be available throughout the whole winter, however. Um, uh, vaccines are offered in many doctor's offices, health centers just like ours, uh, clinics, health departments, etc. cetera. Um, you can go to any of these locations to get a flu vaccination and many of them do offer them free of charge. A flu vaccine is needed every season because um, it boosts and protects our immune system that sometimes declines over time. Um, and also because flu viruses are constantly changing. Flu vaccinations may be updated from one season to the next uh, to protect us against the viruses that research suggests may be the most common during that upcoming flu season. Yes, it is possible to get sick with the flu even after being vaccinated um, because you may have been exposed to the flu prior to getting vaccinated or immediately after being vaccinated, uh, being vaccinated and developing your antibodies. You may be exposed to a flu virus that is not included in the, vac in the vaccine. And, you, and unfortunately, some people can become infected regardless due to health and age. Um, the benefits are to, re to potentially reduce the risk of getting the flu and to also reduce the severity of the illness. It is important to understand that the virus in a flu shot is killed. In other words, it's inactivated. Um, so you cannot get the flu from the flu vaccine. Um, some minor side effects that you can get are soreness at the area where you got the injection, um, a low grade headache, a fever, muscle aches, nausea, and fatigue. In summary, you wanna get vaccinated. You wanna uh, prevent it by covering your mouth and nose when you sneeze or cough with a tissue, discarding the tissue immediately, and also uh, washing your hands um, immediately after. You wanna wash your hands often throughout the day by using, hand, um, uh, by using soap and water, but if you don't have soap and water available, you can use a hand sanitizer that contains 60% alcohol or above. You wanna clean surfaces and disinfect them um, uh, on the objects that may contain germs, and you wanna stay home until you feel better so you do not spread the illness. Um, you also want to treat it with rest and or antivirals. If you have flu symptoms and are in a high risk group, you wanna contact your provider um, and see if he will uh, prescribe you some antivirals. Antivirals are medications uh, that prevent uh, or that help with the flu. They, or that treat the flu, they are not antibiotics and antibiotics are not for treating of, uh, the flu virus. They work against the flu and are not available without a prescription. They can make your symptoms milder, shorten the time that you're sick, and can potentially prevent serious complications such as pneumonia, especially if treated on time. It is extremely important that we all practice extra safety precautions this flu season since COVID-19 is still in effect and can potentially put, her, put us at higher risk. So there you have it, folks. I hope this helps. Thank you and stay safe.